I have a stake in your wedding. You cannot divorce. Do you understand? Because I'm a stakeholder. Do you understand me? You cannot divorce. There's, I don't want to hear anything. Once I buy, should I be for your wedding? And I do professional makeup? And I do all those things? There's no divorce. Do you understand me now? In, you know, you wear a should I be, you sit down from the beginning of the wedding to the end. Whatever they bring on the table, you eat it. They bring this one, you eat it. Or father, you eat it. Chips, you eat it. Do, do, you eat it. Ice cream, you eat it. You just stay there and eat everything. You will not dance. You will not laugh. You will... Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. My name is Sola Samolalakwa. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. We're in the car again today. And today it has there's the reason. So um the previous week or this week I've been busy. My friend is getting married today. Today is Saturday, the 2nd of April. And this is supposed to go live tomorrow, the 3rd of April. So I have to record. I started recording already, but I'm not so I wasn't comfortable with what i recorded so i had to come into the car to record because i wasn't so sure of that recording and i want to give you guys at least what is excellent to me at this time for now and so i know that the car the sound will be better the sound will be better um the um, the vision is clearer and all of that so yeah i came into the car to record also because i didn't bring my ring light and i didn't bring you know i wasn't able to record during the week so i'm sorry for that but guys welcome to my youtube channel this is the third car vlog we're going to do today i'm going to mix um the normal vlog with a little bit of lifestyle vlog hopefully i'm able to edit um whatever i get from my friend's wedding and just add it to this so before my makeup artist arrives hopefully it's going to arrive soon i'm already late i'm supposed to get to our house for nine this is eight to eight or something but you know we'll get there when we get there anyway hi guys welcome to my channel if you have not subscribed why why let's be friends now subscribe now before i move on i want to say thank you to all five thousand more than five thousand subscribers that i have thank you so much guys thank you for encouraging me it has been beyond encouraging as in it has been it has been and i'm so grateful thank you so much thank you so much i appreciate you um Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we'll be talking about something interesting. Um, we're talking funny enough, I'm gonna wear Ashwabi be today, <laughs> but I want to talk about the fad of Ashwabi be um iPhone and Brazilian hair. And I want to speak to those of us who have that um that desire. Usually we express our desires for certain things in would I say the wrong way or we express it through a diff? you know, we express it in such ways that may not be exactly, it will not, if you do not look at it very well, you know, it will not look like, oh, this is exactly what this person wants. So for instance, and I'm going to do a vlog about that spec, you can want a guy that is tall, but the re reason you really want a guy that is tall is because Hollywood has given you the idea that before you kiss your husband you want to tiptoe you know it can be something tiny as tiny as that and you build a huge would i say strong hold or limitation about okay the guy has to be tall the guy has to be tall i think it's the same thing with the need to get the latest iphone not a working phone anymore a functional phone the latest iphone or the latest um no shade to apple you guys are doing fantastically well also i should be you know, you're going for a wedding. You can't, first of all, wedding is a full-time, um, non, <laughs> no ROI, um, investment these days. No return of interest. Yet, it, it is a very high investment. Unless you want to call ROI the happiness or the enjoyment of the wedding and the, that's all. When it comes to finances, hardly is there a return. Yet, we spend a lot for weddings i'm even talking about the guests not even the bride and the groom i'm probably going to do a vlog as well about how we were able to pull a small wedding now you see i should be let me start from that i'm going to wear i should be today and this is probably the only i should be i'm going to wear this year that is not for my family like my immediate family because i should be in yoruba means clothes for the family Asho, Ebi. You understand? So, but it has now become an appropriated custom, which I don't really have a problem with in the same, the real sense of it. The idea, however, that maybe somebody is refused 
party favors like souvenirs and all of that and maybe not allowed to sit in front because of the refusal to wear or maybe the inability or wait, whatever to wear there should be i think it's a problem but i'm not going to look at the classicist i'm not going to look at those who try to define people by what they have i want to speak to you who probably you know, you're really trying hard to fit in. You're really trying hard to belong. You want to go for a wedding. You're looking for, to borrow an iPhone. You're looking to borrow hair. You're looking to borrow money to get a shwebi, to do professional makeup, to do this, to do that. And when you calculate everything, you're already spending close to 50K, spending 100K, money that you don't have. Some of you, your salaries are 150K. For one wedding, you are spending 75K. I want to understand why. I want to know why. What's your goal with that? You know, it's it's a this need to belong. I've always stood out. So I don't really have a problem with whatever people think of me because I even enjoy it because like, okay, yeah, fine, whatever. Is that what you think? Cool, no problem. The idea that I want to even YouTube, I had to win myself of the idea that oh, I have to do makeup every time I want to come. Because first of all, makeup stresses me. I do my makeup well when I do it, but it stresses me. To do it, to clean it off, wash my face, treat my face. I don't, you know, when I use my, my, I can just wash my face and use my face towel and go to sleep. I'm still beautiful without the makeup. I have no issue with it. I do makeup. I'm still going to do makeup today. But I don't want to make it a sort of standard where if I'm not able to do it, then I feel less of myself. I don't. I love myself in my natural state, in my simple state. At the same time, I love myself when I'm made up and all that. I just don't want to fit in. What am I fitting into? Have you ever asked yourself that question? What are you fitting into? The idea that you, you are accepted when you spend money on money that you don't have unnecessarily? Is that, the, is that what you want to fit into? Does it make sense? It does not make sense. This is why I think that we need to think about what we're thinking about. We need to really understand what exactly am I trying to fit into? What exactly am I trying to copy? When we were growing up, you know, we, we, we are, is it Generation Y now? The millennials. We grew up, we started with no phones and then we got into the phones, you know, um, when when I was I got my first phone when I was fifteen. My father got it for me as my fifteenth um, year birthday gift. Now, the I didn't change that phone until I think my mom. I got my mom's flip Nokia. You know she got a new phone and then she gave me. I didn't I didn't change that phone until it wasn't like I wasn't looking for oh the latest phone is out let me change it no. And I think that was it until iPhone came or it was I think it was BlackBerry initially was blackberry where's blackberry now when people were getting killing themselves over blackberry losing their virginity sleeping around sleeping with people that they would never even talk to because of blackberry and you're wondering what is the rave of it your bb curve is working but you want to touch that slide one why why it, it performs the same functions that's exact that's where it started from that's where this useless craze started from because now you are using an iPhone 13 now. You got it as maybe 600k. Right? And September this year, most likely, they're going to re release either iPhone 13, uh, iPhone 14 and the and the cousins. You will now leave the iPhone that last year you got at 500k. And you probably sell it at say like a 300 now. And then look for money to add so that you can buy. Why? What's what's wrong with the iPhone 13? What happened to it? Nothing. It's I'm not talking, if you can afford it, fine, no, I have no issues with you, with you. But if you can't afford it, what is wrong with the one you're using? Even if it's an iPhone 10, even like me, you're using an iPhone 6. What is the problem with it? The only issue with iPhone 6 for me now is I, I really can't use it to record stuff because of the camera quality. So now I want to change it. There's a proper reason. Do you get me? It's not because I want to fit in. No, I want to get a working phone, a functional phone why do you want to fit in so everybody you go for weddings and everybody's just flinging the camera up and down you know then if you're using samsung you want to use s20 that you cannot afford why anything that is making you decide to use what you cannot afford i don't think that that thing is is good or it is well 
You want to go for your a wedding and your friend is insisting that unless you buy Ashwabi and you pay for the bridal train stuff and you buy the gele and you do professional makeup and you stay in the hotel and you and you pay for first of all, I don't even do bridal shower. Shower. I don't I don't do bridal shower because I feel like it's a bit stretch unless you want to pay for it. And then I want me to attend, then I'm gonna try my best to attend. But I'm going to pay everything payable. And then you still want me to come and pray pay for bridal shower. I don't do it. I don't attend. You will see me at the wedding, don't worry. You see me at the engagement, you see me at the, the traditional wedding, you see me at the um, church wedding and reception. But I'm not going to pay for your bridal shower because I'm already paying. Unless that's all I'm paying for, maybe I'm not on the train, then I can pay for I feel like there's this, and some of you, you can't afford that bridal shower. But to say, ah, I can't afford it, then you go and look for money. And when you calculate how much you spent on a wedding, it's your salary or another person's salary or something that you could have used to do something major. You are spending it on somebody's wedding. Wedding or not marriage. I always joke. When I spend over 100k over a wedding, on a wedding, I always tell people, I have a stake in your wedding. You cannot divorce. Do you understand? Because I'm a stakeholder. Do you understand me? You cannot divorce. There's, I don't want to hear anything. Once I buy a shirt before a wedding, and I do professional makeup, and I do all those things, there's no divorce. Do you understand me now? In case maybe I've come for a wedding and I pay that much, and you are considering, hello, it's gonna have more. I don't approve, oh. And I'm a stakeholder. I bought shares in your wedding, in your marriage. So you can't even try it. Be <coughs> I can't spend that much. I come and tell them that it ended. What ended? You better restart it. The way, the way you ended it, you better restart it. You better love one another. And ask Tito to pray for you. But that you want to consider divorce. I don't used to. I don't used to pay. And then it will not end like that. What's the essence of doing all of that? iPhone, the Brazilian hair. I, I said it on Instagram, my Instagram story once. If if you can't afford Brazilian hair, I like Brazilian. I like very nice ones. And the ones I like are around the neighborhood of 500k, 250k. I can't afford that now. I can't put that on my head right now. Personal, unless I'm gifted. So my 30th birthday is coming. If God is speaking to you, you can do that. Thanks. But <laughs> the I, I can't afford it because I like I like it. I like the nice ones, the curly ones, the full ones. I like it, but oh, it's expensive. Why do I not want to copy? Another person, I will do what I can afford. I will look beautiful. This year that I did now, I think everything is about 3,800 in it. But that's why I love it, madam. I was able to go around and I did it. Don't kill yourself over nothing. And then because you cannot afford maybe to do this or to, to belong to this person or to do this thing, then you will not start saying, oh, maybe God is not answering my prayer. You are literally praying for iPhone. You are praying for this. You are praying for that. It's a waste of prayer. Your life should be more about the influence. You should be a witness with the way you live your life. Everything you are doing, you should, it should be to give glory to God. And all of us are called. All those people that used to say, oh, I'm not called, I'm not called. Everybody, we are all called to get people into the kingdom of God. And we do that mostly by our lives. Your life cannot just be about material things. You want to wear Valentino shoes. You want to buy designer shoes so that when you, are, you post on Instagram, you'll be tagging them. Just, just look at the, 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 the business of that. So that when you are, anything happens, you'll be able to tag them. They'll know that, oh, Tito is always wearing expensive things. Tito is always doing this. Then when I, some of you even so, ex, that, as in, <laughs> that one I even heard it. You see one million naira, you're so actually happy. And you're not the bride. You're not the bride. One million naira. One M. It's only about $20,000 now. To so assure B. Why? 250k, 500k to so assure B because you want Ashwe B Bella to post your your <laughs> see guys. It's I know that what you actually want is to belong. What you actually want is to have influence. What you actually want is to be noticed, to be seen. That's what you really want. How about you do what you really want to be seen for? Instagram has given us platform, you know, the internet, the world is like a global village. Now everybody knows everybody. And you can easily influence others. So what are you influencing others to achieve? Till today, there, there's a particular scammer who is in jail and he still has fans and supporters. And I look at people and I wonder, how can you be dating a yahoo boy because ah, 
I buy phone, no, he bought me phone, he bought me C class Benz, he did this, he did that, and then later, maybe you guys break up, he collects everything. The humiliation of it, the I, I really want to believe that it's because you want to belong. But what you're looking for, you already have. What you're looking for in that you want to belong, in that you want to, you already have it. Don't focus on the things that you already have. Don't spend your time running after what you already have or what. Do not do that. You already have it. God calls you important. God calls you special. God will leave the 99 to chase you the one that is what you want receive his love all that love you want to receive by doing here and doing this and doing that and be all that love you want to receive that one you want to buy and work for it's not actually real the one that is real you already have it he died for you he proposed to you on a cross you don't have to Bend your bend over backwards and do what you will naturally not do because you want to belong, guys. You really don't have to. You really don't have to. Love, see, I went for a wedding. Um, it was 20, 2019. This person got married and she was asking me to pay for Ashwabi. And I said, I'm not paying. Like, I, I don't do Ashwabi. And it's a, I don't do Ashwabi. But when I come for your wedding, my dear, you will know that somebody came. Because... The only thing is just won't give me ideas. What I already have, wear this, add this, join this, join this. I we walk around, my shoulder will be high. I'm going to dance. I'm going to dance at your wedding because number one, this is another thing that God has instituted. Marriage is the only institution that God ordained that is still available in the world today. So when I'm privileged to be a part of anybody's wedding, I dance celebrating my Jesus and my God that, wow, this is fantastic. This is another home for Christ. So I'm going to dance. So whether I know you before, I don't know you before, you will know that ah, it's okay. See, she, she, she was available at this wedding because I'm going to dance a lot. So those that I wear, some, you know, you wear a shabby, you sit down from the beginning of the wedding to the end. Whatever they bring on the table, you eat it. They bring this one, you eat it. Or father, you eat it. Chips, you eat it. Do, do, you eat it. Ice cream, you eat it. You just stay there and eat everything. You will not dance. You will not laugh. You will wear shades in, in inside hall. Low, there's no sun. You will wear shades there. Just to be, just to. You not sit down. You not be doing a dance. Kill day. What happened? Stand up and walk around, my dear. Even if you don't know how to dance, sachet to the left, sachet to the right. Hey right, guys, my makeup artist is called. I have to go now. Um, but I'm going I'm sure I'm gonna round this off maybe with my made-up face and all of that. So it's a lifestyle vlog in, in, a, in a way. But I hope you have learned a thing or two. Um, I'll see you in the next cut and then we can wrap this up. Hopefully, this goes up by 1 p.m. tomorrow by the grace of God. See you soon. Love you guys. See you at the wedding. Mwah. Bye. Have you gone there? <laughs>
Just want to be.